You are watching the bonus round with Roused Hour. Today I want to give you just a quick rundown on how to TM farm or Trust Mastery farm on Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Most people who play this game are well aware of how this works and how to do it. Uh, but some people, um, new players, will come along every now and then and say, Hey, what what is a TM? What What is this? How do I get this? You know, this takes forever. And it does take forever. I mean, that's that's true. But I'll give you a quick uh, tutorial for you new players who might be playing. First thing you want to do is make a Trust Mastery team. And on that, of course, I've got my four Mustadios and one Shizuru in this team. Because Mustadio is the character that I want to get my Trust Mastery for, but I'm also working on Shizuru. So let's see, my, my main Mustadio, my highest level one. Let's look at him. Currently, my Trust Mastery is at 26.4%. For this unit. The reward is the Romandum Pistol, 107 attack. I got my other Mustadios here, 2.7%, 3%, and 3.4%. As you probably know, when you fuse these units together, you get all of those Trust Master percentages added together, plus 5% for each that you fuse. So that's ideal to have multiple units that you're working on so you can combine them all at the end. So we're going to go to Earth Shrine. Well, Earth Shrine is the ideal place to farm. The entrance is one energy. And it's only two battles, which means it's quicker and you get less junk items in your inventory because you're doing less battles. So we'll just choose any old unit for the friend unit so we can get that plus 10 friend points. To summon our crap units that we'll probably throw away anyways. <clears throat> Those friend summons are pretty useful because some of them have decent trust masteries, like Carry, for example. It has Sunbeam, which I actually just got that last week. That I get to use, but I have it. So you really just want to auto attack, keep on doing it over and over again. Every time you run at any kind of match in this game, you have, I think it's a, I don't, remember, I don't know if it's like a, I think it's maybe a 10% chance to get 0.1%. I didn't get anything here. I'll do one more and see if it if it procs. So you can see that. One more Earth Shrine. Next. Next. Auto attack. Okay, that's pretty common. Oh, nothing that time either. Well, maybe one more. It's always when you decide to start recording that things just don't go to plan. Um, I don't recommend taking lightning. I mean, you can. It's not going to hurt anything, but yeah, it's going to take longer because her attack animation is freakishly long. Same for Seven. Seven's attack animation is pretty long too. And her sprite has almost the exact same stance as Lightning, so it's almost like the exact same character. <clears throat> oh man. I don't usually go this long without a. Uh, a trust increase. This is how it goes though. I mean, it's random when you're working with percentages. I mean, if it, even if it's 50%, as high as 50%, you still could go, you know, for a long time without anything because it's really just a matter of chance. Same thing with summons, it's just a game of chance. You can go, you can get one on your next try or you can go your whole life and I'll get one. But it's not very likely that we'll go your whole life and not get something. So, uh, We'll I'll try again and see. A lot of people set up macros to do this, which um, I don't know if I'm pretty sure that's against the rules. 
but I know it hasn't been clear until I don't think it's been very clear as far as if that's illegal in the game or not but I still don't take the chance I do everything manually I don't use macros um, or any of that stuff I'm 100% natural I'm an all natural player cage free Which is one reason I don't have very many trust masteries. The only trust masteries I have are Sunbeam, from Carry, and Barrage from Luna. Which I haven't even used it. I got it. I was excited about it. And I haven't even put it on anybody. I've had it for like six months. So that's kind of... You get excited about these trust masteries and you finally get them. And then you get them and it's like, oh, well, what am I going to do with it? And gear is great, but abilities... Oh, uh, there we go. 49.6. So since so Shazira just went up by 0.1%. So you have a chance to get 0.1%. As expected, it would take a long time to get up there, but once you get to 100%, you get your uh, you get your trust mastery. Uh, let me look at my inventory or my units. I don't think I have anybody currently with 100%. If I do, it's going to be I think I sold carry. I might have a trash unit that's 100%. Uh, I might have sold my trash units too, though. She's 60%. I've got two silence dances, uh, which is a, is a fairly useful um, ability. I've also got one, one, two of hers already. Some of these, these, I call them trash units, but they're not all that bad. They're just free-to-play units. Some of them are decent. Some of them are, I mean, they're decent for carrying you through early content, rather. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't think I think I sold all my characters to have 100%. But anyways, that's how it works. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of stuff besides this. Most of my videos um, include my son, my three-year-old, humorously commenting on everything I do, which can be pretty fun. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.